I've never known a love so steady Even gold won't turn your tide We flow together like an ocean What's going on everyone? This is Brian from the Cruise Travelers and today we're going to go over the five things you should do before you board your cruise line. Let's go guys. And also don't forget, go ahead and hit that subscribe button please. It helps the channel out so much. And also don't forget, when we have a video come up, click that like button. It helps with the algorithm, it helps us as a channel and really makes things pop so we can get more videos out to you as soon as possible. Let's do the first one. We're going to jump right in with, you need to check in online. The first thing you need to do is you're going to get online, you're going to check in, and as you can see here on the right side, we have a list. It starts with guest selections, ends with a check-in summary. That's going to tell you, as long as you have those green check marks on the right-hand side, it's going to tell you your travel plans, arrival appointments. Let's go through those things right now real quickly. First thing you need to do when you check in online, you're going to add a number. It's a phone number. That's your phone number. You want to add that into the check-in uh, feature. You're going to add your email address as well. They're going to ask you for that during this process. Just add your current email address. And then you're going to put an emergency contact in here. It cannot be, should not be, someone on the ship with you. Uh, you're going to add your country of citizenship or residency, uh, wherever you're coming from. That's probably the easiest one to put in. And the next one we have coming up here is your travel document. Myself and Michelle, we put in our passport, enter our passport number. It's just an easier document to come around. It has a photo in it. It's a um, internationally recognized document. Also, you'll need to put in whether you are driving or flying. And it is important to state whether you're flying because that will help in debarkation proceedings. They let you off the ship earlier if your flight is leaving. Uh, so just make sure that you signify, which it'll break you down and ask which flights you're leaving out at. Also, your arrival appointment. That is the appointment that you're going to arrive at the ship and get on the ship. Make sure you're there during this time. We have noted here as between 12 and 1230. Make sure you're there between 12 and 1230 or they're going to put you to the back of the line. So make sure you're there on time. The next one we have coming up is authorizing users and purchases. You have that little credit card they call it a sell and sign card on carnival this will authorize those users to if they go throughout the ship they can swipe and utilize your banking account that is attached to your card they can swipe and it will affect your banking account so be careful with who you add right here is where you can add what time you would like to eat dinner you could also have anytime dining, which means that you just sort of show up, but I never like that. Michelle and I always choose early dining, but now we've been considering doing late dining. That way we can have more fun in the pool, uh, relax when we get back from an excursion, but it's your choice. You choose your early or late dining or your time dining. Also your bedding preferences. This is so important. It says a king size bed, but be aware if you uh, purchase a room and select a king size bed, that bed is actually going to be two twin beds placed together with a separation down the middle. You can almost not get away from that. It's a little uncomfortable, but the bed is a little bit larger. The next one we have coming up is you're gonna to have to, as always with everything, accept the cruise ticket contract. And then it's gonna confirm at the very end, all right, make sure you're there from noon to 12.30. This is your arrival time. We uh, signified that with a little star to show you how important that is Right here at the very end, they're going to tell you, all right, you're done. You need to print your luggage tags and your boarding pass. Always print your luggage tags and your boarding passes, but do not place your, your tags on your luggage until you leave the airport because they'll rip them off when you check in at the airport. And one last time, they're going to confirm, make sure you show up on time. You should be there between noon and 1230. That's at the bottom of the ship to get on it. All right, so the next one we have coming up here real quickly is Faster to the Fun. I know a lot of you know what this is, some that do not, but Faster to the Fun is actually a purchase. And as you, as you can see up here on the top right hand corner, it's $49.95 per cabin, not per person. Everyone is affected by, by this that are that's in the cabin. And we're gonna briefly run over a few things that Faster to the fund benefits you. Priority check-in, you can bypass the lines and check in and get on the ship. Uh, guaranteed staterooms as well. Express luggage, they pick them up quickly. Guest services, you get into line in front of that whole line in front of guest services. Priority tendering, that means when you're getting off the ship, you can tender first. All right, so the next one we have is VIFP rewards. This is a very important fun person rewards. It's a reward system that 
count how many days that you've been at sea with Carnival Cruise Lines and also a Royal Caribbean has this as well and that determines which category you fall into. Some of those categories it starts out with uh, blue, it's either red, gold, platinum or diamond. Myself and Michelle are now platinum because we've sailed between 79 and 100 days. So your benefits increase the more days that you've sailed with Carnival Cruise Line. Obviously, Diamond is at the very top. That's 200 plus days. Uh, and if you'll see right here, as you click into the VIFP, it says, notice at the top, unlock big savings. That means that you're getting discounts on several things. You get discounts for your cruises. You get discounts on board. Um, sometimes you get, uh, like Platinum members, get the same benefits as if you had purchased the faster to the fun there in the purchase area. And also, right here, um, as you can see, I've circled them. These are some discounted cruises. If you were to not um, log in with your profile or utilize that number, uh, that very important fun person number, those would be far more expensive than they are there. As you can see here at the top, you can see blue is your very first selling. Uh, the next one is red. That's your second selling. You need up to 24 days. It says points, but it means days. Um, and then gold is 25.75 days. I'm sorry, 25 to 75 days. Platinum is 75 to 199 days. And diamond is 200 days plus. So there's really nothing um, above diamond, but that's a lot of days at sea. Um, so you'll want to take a look at that. Some of the benefits is complimentary, complimentary bottle of water. You get a pin uh, once you're gold. You get a pin every time. Uh, it's a nice little pin. My wife loves to collect those. We attach them to our luggage or attach them to our lapels. Um, and uh, sometimes when you go on, say, inaugural cruises, like Michelle and I went on the Panorama, we got a specialized pin for the Panorama. Um, so that's always great to keep, sort of a collector's item. Um, then with the Platinum and Diamond, you get a VIFP party of five. Uh, with, it has to be with um, days five or more sailings, and you get complimentary drinks and appetizers. That's always fun. You get to meet other people there. And then also you get a chocolate delight plate delivered to your stateroom on five or more day cruises. That's with Platinum and Diamond as well. And then priority spa reservations, which a lot of people love. I mean, they really sell out very, very quickly. So take a look at some of those items on uh, online at carnival.com. You can really get some great details about that. The next one we have coming up right now is going to be shore excursions. Make sure you reserve prior to getting on the ship because a lot of the really good ones like Stingray City and various other ones that are, that are taken when you get on the ship, make sure you reserve prior to it. And that way you know you have a spot in line because they sell out quick. Um, you have some of them, like the behind the scenes one, which is really important. Not a lot of people know about. The behind the scenes excursion is actually, what they do is you can only purchase it uh, when you get on the ship. But make sure you go directly to the excursions desk as soon as you get on and say, hey, I want to purchase the behind the scenes. And they take you behind the scenes at the, on the ship inside of the inside the kitchen, the galley, and they show you a lot of things that you normally don't get to see. As you can see here, when you're choosing your excursion, make sure that you look at the features on the left-hand side. They, uh, they could either be categorized by price, they could be categorized by duration, they could be categorized by activity. It's really important for you to select those features, but then also take a look at each one of these. They actually show you which port that particular excursion is in. So when you're in there, make sure you select those uh, those features like I had selected here. Uh, my selected activity is going to be um, difficult. Generally, those with disabilities probably can't attend those that are diff difficult because there's either a lot of walking, a lot of climbing, they may not have accessibility for wheelchairs. So just make sure that you filter down correctly. You can even, what I like to do is choose reviews and you get those reviews from other Carnival Cruise Line guests. They will rate them for you. And then if you select the, the, the uh, five star, then you get some of the better, uh, more popular excursions to go on. 
Um, so you want to go to the beach. Here it here features some of the beach uh, locations. Like right here, it says Secret Sands Beach and Skyline Drive. That's a wonderful one. We've heard amazing things about it. A lot of the snorkeling ones we have right here as well. So it's it's important for when you get in here, take some time, spend a half a day or so really looking through these excursions and make sure you reserve the ones that are not only right for you, but right for you and your family, uh, depending on whether they're they're a little young, they may not be they may not want to go on hikes or anything like that. But then what you'll do is you're going to you're going to save that. What you can do is either link, once you choose that excursion, you can link it to your profile, link it to your booking, or just continue shopping and place it in the shopping cart. And so make sure that you spend a good amount of time trying to choose which one of the excursions you want. My cart here is empty because obviously I can't add them because we don't have a cruise booked because it's COVID is affecting all the cruising. We had to cancel one of our cruises, but also right here, when you're looking under those excursions, you could purchase additional things prior to getting on the ship. One of them is going to be the cheers package. So the cheers package, which if you'll take a look at, at our channel on YouTube, we have an entire video that breaks down the cheers package, what it costs, what you should expect to have how long it lasts, which ports you cannot use it in, uh, in port, which is uh, mainly Galveston. You cannot utilize the Cheers program while they're docked in the port. Uh, this is $51.95 per day, per guest, double occupancy. So if, if I get this, I have to pay $51.95 per day on the cruise, then Michelle has to have it as well. She will have to pay $51.95 per day for that week cruise or that five day cruise. So make sure you look into that. This one is Bubbles. A lot of the kids really enjoy this because uh, some of the things that they have that are free, setting aside the Bubbles package, is lemonade and tea and some juices and some water. With this bottomless Bubbles, it allows them to get unlimited soda. And that is $5.95 per child per day. And then it's a little bit more than that. 850 for adults. I do see a lot of adults purchasing, purchasing uh, the bubble. So that's a great idea to look into. The last one is, is something I'm really excited about that I just found out recently about is making friends on Facebook groups. So what you wanna do is you wanna go out to, obviously, if you'll take a look at here, this is the Cruise Travelers Facebook page. So definitely visit us out there, click that like button. How many of you have visited, if you'll comment in, uh, down below, tell us how many people here have visited our Facebook page, The Cruise Travelers. Also, let me know if you've ever purchased the, the drink package as well, or bubbles. Let me know in the comments down below. It's important for us to keep in touch so we know what you're doing. Uh, we update this uh, Cruise Travelers Facebook page at least once a day. I'm sending article out articles out consistently. So what you want to do once you get out to Facebook and you click that like button and follow button on our uh, Cruise Travelers Facebook page, up in the search button in the top left hand corner, if you'll just type in the word car uh, carnival or panorama, you're going to notice that groups will come up that says, for instance, here, Carnival Pan Panorama, November 28th, 2020. That means that there are a group of 200 members that will be on that ship the same day as you. So you can start collaborating with people, getting to know people, set up parties. And one of the ones I went to, uh, they actually did a shot glass exchange on the Lido deck aft for all of the members in the group and everyone brought a shot, shot glass and they exchanged shot glasses. So that was a lot of fun. You get to meet people uh, prior to getting on the ship. You get to meet a lot of really fun people and then you get to meet them in person. It's really exciting way to to be involved in your cruise prior to arrival on the ship. Um, so my uh, Michelle and I always join a group at least a few months prior to cruising. As you can see right here, this one is for the Panorama uh, on November 14th. Michelle and I was fortunate enough last year to go on the inaugural cruise of the Panorama out of Long Beach. So that was an amazing uh, adventure for Michelle and I. We would definitely do it again. We're looking to do it on one of the larger ships, but once again, COVID is affecting it all. 
but as you could see here it's a great way to to meet people online so that's what we have here for you today five things you need to know before you get on the ship once again this is brian with the cruise travelers we really appreciate you being a part of uh part of the family uh, go ahead and click that subscribe button click the like button comment down below let us know have you purchased the cheers package have you purchased the bubbles package uh, what ports have you been in it's interesting to understand what everyone's been doing during covid as well so let us know in the comments down below once again thanks so much this is brian from the cruise travelers and we're going to see you out on the high seas or out in our rv thanks so much guys enjoy your day enjoy your week Bye-bye.